hello guys welcome back to my channel before proceeding further please like and share with this video with your friends colleague and let's start uh, in the previous video we have talked about the detailed description about the GitLab the settings how you can create the branch merge request pull push commit and even create the branch and also we have seen all the prerequisites uh, and there are two exe we have installed on this system one was git one and the other was tortoise git so as i told you that using the tortoise git interface you can able to you know create and then every two uh, every settings you can do from tortoise git right, right click here and go to tortoise git see these are the functionality that you can achieve using tortoise git like if you change any file then you able to commit or if you add any file then you need to commit then push and if there any change happen by the other developer you need to pull in your local folder so now what you can achieve through tortoise gate like you know creating branch resolve resolve means if there are two developers working on the same file and the conflict will occur so in order to resolve that conflict this this option will work revert if you have change in a file and you would like to revert the changes so you need to click on the revert switch you have you are, you have uh, three four branches and you are working in one branch right so go to here switch like uh, i have yes i have one master branch so either i can switch to any one of the branch so yes this we have uh, this so much we have discussed in the last video through tortoise kit so now the the everything that we will see through visual studio in this video so let's quickly open the Visual Studio. As I told you that Microsoft has has purchased the Git a few years back. So because of that, you can do everything from the Visual Studio itself. So once you open your project and the you see there are two window. The first one is Solution Explorer. Solution in the Solution Explorer you will see all the files related to your project architecture. And in the Team Explorer. You will see your your uh, your same option which you have seen here tortoise gate right so like if uh, if someone is uh, on the some uh, visual studio if you are not able to see this team explorers go to edit sorry go to view then you can click here yeah now you can able to click team explorer search explorer okay so by clicking here you can able to see this option now uh, i have i'm already connected with my with my see gitlab demo project okay if you are opening first time then go to here and sorry right click here and you yeah manage connection so once you click here connect to a project it will automatically connect to your repository whichever your repository you are working upon uh, if you are working on the bitbucket github tfs so you will uh, get the all the uh, option okay so i am working on the demo project so i will double click on the demo project it will show me all the changes i am in every settings so i will show you the quickly all the settings like i am here and i have added something okay this is the change suppose i am a developer and i have done this change so I need to push to this uh, to the server, and if okay, let me log in here and show you the show you this file on the server. Uh, go to demo project, and the demo project I I am on the which 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 branch? Yeah, place order module. So let me click on the here. Okay, so okay, go to web application one web application one and which file i was supposed to change over the year uh, it was in the view and this was file okay so now we were okay see this change is not here the change is still in my local folder so i would like to push this change on the server so go to home changes so when you click the changes you will see all the all the changes that you would like to push here okay uh, 
and the other file as well i think these are the changes that i have not pushed okay that's why these are the file uh, are added here um, so like uh, and put the comment like added file all right so commit commit all and push commit all and sync see these are the option commit all this the, the commit will happen on your local folder it will not push on the server commit all and push it will commit and push on the server commit all and sync means it will commit and it will push on the server and uh, at the parallel it will fetch the latest code from the server so pull push and commit will happen with this option so let's click here because i'm alone i know i'm working alone here so there is no confusion but if you're working with uh, a number of uh, team so you need to you, you, you should avoid using this option always do comment pull and then push it will avoid the conflict see i have done all the changes and see in coming out on going everything is synced let's go and refresh it i hope the changes should be here but not here okay let's go back maybe some other application is added i think okay let's get here demo project see the two application i think one was added earlier okay it was name two so go to here and go to web two and what was the file under view and click over here I will able to see my changes okay now like suppose I will directly do the changes on the server and the way like okay the changes is reverse this changes done on the server okay so I have done the changes directly here on the server see the changes happen now I would like to fetch this change on my local so go to team explorer go to home click on sync now the option is there right pull and push you will see sync you can click here as well but uh, in order to get the changes click here pull see pulling the changes from the current branch so it will pull the changes and merge to your local folder okay see the changes done on the so done the server uh, okay this was the I mean text that we have changed done on the server and the same text as overhead here in my local folder uh, go to home page go to home now pull request you can uh, also raise the pull request from here for the, as I showed you in the last video the pull, uh, pull request means you uh, if someone has committed and the commit has to approve by someone right in order to merge in the branch in some other branch like the i'm working on the on the some other branch the my branch is order module go to branches so my my branch name is play place order module and if i'm going to merge on the master branch then approval is needed in order to approve the request i need to raise the pull request okay so i hope this part is clear and let's go quickly i will show you the branches see all the branches will be listed over here and if you like to switch uh, the other branches like uh, okay i would like to work on the master branch um my my work is done on this branch so let's just double click over here see now you are on the master branch see very quickly you are your branch is switched now you are working on the master branch all right and uh, in order to quickly i mean see the here is all on your local folder is also changed previously it was place order body okay so in this way you can you know um, do everything from the visual studio rather than going on the local folder so it's very good that the git repository is here uh, and the other that you can able to play around like settings uh, sync that I, as I told you the sync are the those things that you if anything need to commit push and pull alright uh, let me go to branches and double click over here so I am 
back on the sorry uh, I am here I'm back on the placeholder module and you can also create new branch here if I go and let's see hmm, customer registration I am going to create one branch from here customer registration from from which branch so you need to tell from which branch you would like to take the create the new branch like okay I am I said create new branch from this place order module just create create here so it will create one branch see okay so go to home and sync it, it, no changes has happened but changes still there is no change because everything is here there is no I mean, nothing we have changed till date so go to here customer registration and if you see uh, the new branch I have chosen okay customer registration and this is the code sorry uh, where is the code where is the code okay just double click over here see I'm back on the code so yeah uh, in this way you can create the merge you know, all right create the tag as well or filter the tag so yeah this was the quick uh, I mean uh, visual, uh, I've been working on this uh, visual studio so thank you for watching this video and if you have any question regarding working through visual studio or working from that local folder please put the I mean mention the mention your question in the comment box I will be very happy to answer thank you so much